At Beckart, we realize that new build is not always the answer, Van. It's yep. not always in the budget, and repairs are necessary. That's exactly right. And there's also natural disasters. You can have trees fall on fence. Uh, sometimes maybe trouble animals sure. will, will break fence or try to get through and create damage. That's so right. there's a lot of reasons to need to repair fence. So here in Northeast Wyoming, there is a lot of old two-point barbed wire. And there are many, many repairs out there that look like this that have turned loose. But we have a simple solution, Van. A lot of yep. times this barbed wire is so old and kind of brittle and you can't really bend it. It's hard to tie. And that's where the gripples come into play. It is, they're easy to insert in. You don't have to put a bend. This wire's old enough. If we bend it, it's gonna break almost immediately, Keith. So the gripple barbed wire joiner has two channels and basically all you have to do to make a repair is come in, cut the bad section out, and we're cutting both strands here, Van. And I just start off by cutting at a little bit of an angle. Seems to go through the gripple a little bit better. And hang on to those cut pieces. You don't want hardware disease in your animals. Yep. And then you basically just push that barbed wire gripple on and let it roll and it locks into position. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hang on to my pieces and I've got another bad section. So again, I'm just gonna cut that barbed wire at a little bit of an angle. And Van, I keep saying cut it at an angle. It just seems like it starts through the gripple a little bit easier to yes, me. Yes, Keith. And guys, you really need to be wearing gloves when you're handling barbed wire. But today for this, I want you to be able to see how easy this repair is. So you just place it in the gripple, let it run up that channel, and it'll try to rotate, Van, and that's yep. not gonna hurt anything at all. And this 12 and a half gauge wire, there's always the option to get this 12 and a half gauge barbless, or you can use a number nine smooth wire. But you just pass this barbed wire through the other channel and get it as straight as you can, and it will just slip through, just like that. Then you slip through this channel, so you just slip the new wire through. Now, I've got everything together, but I'll put my gloves on. Then all we're gonna do is pull the slack through by hand. And as you can see behind me, it's picked all that slack up. If you'll hold that tail for me right yes, there. Sir. One thing I like about these gripples is they do have the ceramic rollers. So you can see there's corrosion out here. Correct. Those ceramic rollers will not corrode inside of that gripple. So as we get uh, colder weather and the uh, fence gets uh, more tension on it, it will react to that and continue to work year Correct. after year on this repair. But we just use the gripple tool and the gripple tool fits all of the same joiners. I mean, the mediums, the smalls, the barbed wire gripples, the larges, they will all work in this tool. But today we're gonna use it as a tensioning device. So we're on the barbless cable here, slide it in. Now, if you watch behind me, I'm gonna start picking up all that slack. So we just simply tension this up now we've got a nice repair that uh, will last for quite a while now, Van. That other one had been repaired a couple of times. Yes, it had. So all in line, nice and smooth. We simply trim this off, and this repair will be here ready to go for quite some time. That's right, Keith. 
Guys, always remember for all your products, Beckart made in the USA. Thanks for watching, guys.